Welcome back to Darshan channel. Today I am going to discuss Satyagra and Satyagra movements in India. So, I will be discussing what Satyagra is and also I will be discussing the movements in India including Champaran Satyagra, Kheda Satyagra, Ahmedabad Mill Worker, Non-Cooperation Movement, Baduli Satyagra, Civil Disobedient, Individual Satyagra and Quit India Movement. So, uh, we will start first with what Satyagra is. So, Satyagra is a word, uh, it is a Sanskrit term meaning Satya and Agra. This meaning is truth force or the soul force. So, Mahatma Gandhi uh, witnessed a racist injustice in South Africa, which led him to uh, unite the colored people and fight for their rights. So, uh, initially, the term tha, Satyagra that was not used, rather, it was passive resistance. So, he term Tolstoy who is a Russian writer. So, he is a Russian writer and he also won Nobel Prize in Literature and Nobel Peace Prize also. So, passive resistance meaning that the movement against the discriminatory uh, administration. So, Gandhi sought an Indian term. So, an Indian term wo te ho, uh, which, in uh, which encompassed truth, moral courage and intellectual depth in a peaceful political struggle leading to the birth of the term Satyagra. And this is what Satyagra means. Now, what was the main aim of Satyagra, right? So, the aim of Satyagra is to achieve social and political change through non-violent means rooted in the principle of seeking truth and justice. So, uh, there are certain um, points, just a Indian opinion, jo tha, uh, that was a newspaper, a newspaper established by Gandhi himself in 1903 and it was in South Africa. So, is me Satyagra ko kaise describe kiya? Firmness in a good cause. In young India, again this is a journal. So, 1919 se leke 1931 me tha. And in that, uh, it was pointed as the law of self-suffering. In Sindh Swaraj, or you can also call it as home rule, uh, again, a book in 1909. So, it was it is a book in uh, book by Gandhi in 1909. Me likha tha. Describe kya hai. Sacrifice of self is superior to sacrifice of others. So, Satyagraha movements in India. Mein, so, we will be talking about the first one that is the Champaran Satyagraha, and it started in 1917. So, Champaran Satyagra in April 1970, Gandhi visited Champaran. So, again, it is a small district in Bihar. In response to the fighters, uh, sorry, farmers plague, uh, it was invite, he was invited by Raj Kumar Shokla, who was a local leader there. And uh, Gandhi first hand saw the suffering of the farmers. So, what he did was he uh, started gathering information and he started organizing meetings with the farmers. And he also encouraged the farmers to, um, uh, to fight again it, uh, in a peaceful way. So, he encouraged the farmers to resist the injustice. First step itself is to resist the injustice. And then um, he uh, filed petition, we are holding meetings and spreading awareness. So, uh, the thing was initially B British authorities responded with so British authorities were even um, such that they arrested Gandhiji at that time. So the British government eventually appointed a commission to investigate the grievances of the farmers and um, and the Champaran Satyagra tha kis cheez ke baare mein, right? So, this movement resulted in the abolition of Din Katya system. So, they wanted Din Katya system to be abolished. Now, for that we need to know what Din Katya system is. So, let's see what Din Katya system is. The British established indigo plantation in India. Indigo plantation meaning indigo jo aap dye mein use kiya jata tha, color form mein use kiya jata tha, uske liye hai. So, British established indigo plantation in Bihar where farmers were forced to grow indigo instead of fruit crops. So, uh, the planters exploited the farmers enforcing a system called Din Katya system. Toh, unhoon ek Din Katya system hi mana diya tha, where farmers, were, uh, farmers have to dedicate one third portion of their land to indigo. So, instead of going, uh, growing fruit uh, crops, they had to grow indigo plantation. 
सो उसके बाद फार्मर्स वे ऑल्सो पेट वेरी लिटल फॉर देयर प्रोड्यूस विच वॉज सोल्ड एट द हाइस्ट प्राइस इन यूरोप दिस लेट मेनी फार्मर्स इन डेप्थ एंड पॉवर्टी सो ए सिमिलर रिवॉल्ट वॉज ऑल्सो इंडिगो जैसे इंडिगो रिवॉल्ट ऑल्सो हैपन इन बंगाल इन 1859 also and uh, we can see that ek time ke baad ek time pe german also started producing artificial um, dye indigo dye and the demand fell to a certain extent but after the first world war as in the first world war uh, german ceased to produce it and then again the uh, again the planters exploited the farmers so moving to the next one in 1918 mein uh, there were two satyagrahs first when first being the ahmedabad mill satyagraha and the keda satyagraha so we'll start with the ahmedabad mill worker satyagraha so it took place in february march in 1918 in ahmedabad in gujarat where the mill workers were protesting for better wage and working condition so uh, this issue rose due to the rising inflation and the plague bonus being withdrawn so plague bonus mein kya hua tha during 1917 during the plague epidemic in ahmedabad mill owners offered a plague bonus of up to 75% over the regular wages to prevent the workers from fleeing the city once the epidemic passed the owners attempted to discontinue the continue the bonus but the workers insist on its continuum arguing that the cost of living remained high so that was the thing and uh, they were not given um, good wage so if you see that they were only paid 5 rupees per month for an 70 hours of weekly work and uh, they worked in 12 to 15 hours of work and it also include force level on women and children as well so that was the condition at that time so they Uh, the workers demanded for in fifty percent. So there was this thing that there was this workers who were demanding that fifty percent wage may increase on our side. But then the owners were were only twenty five twenty percent. So owners were willing to give twenty percent, whereas the workers were asking for a demanding for in fifty percent wage increase. and um, and at the same time they also wanted ki overtime agar kar rahe to pay kiya jaye ya fir jaise uh, weekly holidays ho ya 8 hours of working hours ho so certain things right so uh, gandhi ji uh, advocating for justice suggested satyagraha and meditate between workers and uh, the mill owners so the negotiation jo tha negotiate kiya tha workers and jo owners ke beech mein wo fail ho gaya tha एंड उसके वजह से गांधी रिजॉर्ट टू हंगर स्ट्राइक सो अगेन हंगर स्ट्राइक इज ऑल्सो ए फॉर्म ऑफ सत्याग्रह राइट जहाँ पे यू आर गिविंग यूर सेल्फ सफरिंग सो दैट इज अगेन ए फॉर्म ऑफ सत्याग्रह टू सपोर्ट द वर्कर्स कॉज डिमांडेड ए थर्टी फाइव तो ना फिफ्टी परसेंट और बीच में सो ही वंडेड लाइक एटलीस्ट थर्टी फोर फाइव परसेंट का हो हाइक तो सत्याग्रह द मिल वर्कर्स सो द मिल ऑनर्स जो थे वो एग्री कर गए थे 35% percent of the original demand was met, including 20% percent wage hike. Also, this Satyagraha demonstrated the effectiveness of non-violent protest. So again, through non-violent protest, they were able to get 35% percent hike, 35% percent of the original and 20% percent of wage hike. Now moving to the next one is Keda Satyagraha, which also happened in 1918. So it was uh, in Keda, a district of Gujarat. वहाँ पे प्रॉब्लम था ड्राउट एंड क्रॉप्स फेलियर का 1917 में व्हिच डिवास्टेटेड द लोकल इकोनॉमी एंड लेफ्ट फार्मर्स अनएबल टू पे द टैक्सेस नाउ डिस्पाइट द डायर सर्कमस्टेंसेस द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट इंसिस्ट ऑन कलेक्टिंग लैंड रेवेन्यू टैक्सेस लीडिंग टू वाइड स्प्रेड अनरेस्ट अमंग द फार्मर्स गांधी वॉज इन्वाइटेड बाई खेदा टू सपोर्ट दियर कॉज एंड ही कॉल फॉर द नॉन वायलेंट रेसिस्टेंट अगेंस्ट द टैक्स कलेक्शन सो अगेन he mobilized the the farmers and other people at local people and a non violent resistance unhone uh, start kiya tha ya satyagraha unhone start kiya tha wahan pe bhi he also encouraged the farmers not to pay taxes and to peacefully resist the authorities so that was one thing 
now mobilize the local okay so this is then and then uh, keda satyagraha in 1918 may the movement was characterized by peaceful protest and non violent civil disobedience reflecting gandhi's philosophy of satyagraha the british authorities responded with arrest and so again they used to arrest gandhi ji and the local people and then they also confiscated the lands and the property from the non compliant farmers also Satyagra gained widespread public support, drawing attention to the farmers' play across India. The British government eventually agreed to suspend. Now again, it was a successful event, a successful moment tha, jaha pe, uh, they suspended the tax collection in Keda for that year. The government also promised relief measure for the affected farmers, including debt relief and assistance with the future agriculture planning. Next, we have non-cooperation movement, 1920s, like in 1922. So the movement, uh, the movement was uh, in 4th September, was on, on 4th September by Gandhiji in 1920 as a response to the British uh, atrocities, particularly the Jallianwala Bagh massacre in 1919 and the Khilafat issue. So Jallianwala massacre, everybody must be familiar with, uh, which happened in 1919. Uh, so people gathered in Jalanwala area for the Besaki fair and um, around 1500 people died at that time, was killed at that time and in the Khilafat issue it is again a sanctioned place on the Turkish Empire after the First World War so again they were against it. So the movement aimed to attain Suraj self ruled and bring the British government to its knees by withdrawing Indian support for the British institution and got non-cooperation movement mein kya kya cheeze tha so they started boycotting the british goods school colleges law courts and civil services and they also um, they say started promoting this swadeshi got meaning the local goods and all and uh, surrender of titles so again rabindranath also surrendered his title jinko knighthood mila tha so he surrendered his title and and british is also used to give awards and all so they wanted ki ye jo titles and awards hai wo surrender kiya jaye encouraged of encouragement of indians to leave government jobs and boycott elections to the legislative councils so that was the thing in non-cooperation movement. The also included the movement fostered a national awakening and unity, uh, unity among the Indians, a uh, significant economic impact on the British industry due to the boycott of British clothes and goods. Obviously, Indians agar boycott karte hai, to there was certain sort of economic impact also. The Indian National Congress transformed into a mass political party. So there were certain setbacks also. Um, the movement saw an instance violence in the Chauri Chaura incident, uh, where a violent clash led to the burning of the police station, killing 22 policemen. Despite uh, this premature end, the non-cooperation movement set the foundation for the future mass movement and mobilized millions of Indians in the struggle for independence. It marked the beginning of Gandhi's leadership in the national movement and laid the groundwork of Indian freedom struggle. So that was the setback. Now moving to the next one, we have Bardoli Satyagra, which happened in 1928. So this Bardoli Satyagra was not led by Gandhiji, but rather by Sardar Vallabhai Patel in 1928 in Bardoli, Gujarat. Um, it was a response of 30% hike in the land revenue imposed by the British government, despite poor crops, yield and flood affecting the area. Farmers refused to pay the increased tax, initiating a non-violence at Tegra under the, Pat, under the Patel's uh, leadership. The government responded by confiscating land, cattle and properties of protesting farmers. Sadar Patel organized a structure campaign with volunteers helping farmers to resist non-violently. So again it was led by Vasudar Vallavai Patel again uh, against uh, the uh, hike in the land revenue. Um, and here we can also see that women played a uh, significant role addressing the meetings and encouraging farmers to remain steady first. The movement gained widespread attention and the British government was forced to set up an inquiry. The text hike was eventually rolled back and confiscated properties were written to the farmers. So Sardar Patel ka jo term Sardar hai, so earn his title Sardar for this leadership in the successful Satyagraha which led 
later boasts the Indian national movement as well. So, this is one more Satyagraha. And next, uh, we will be talking about the civil disobedient movement. Salt Satyagraha, Dandi March, ye sab is mein aata hai. So, civil Satyagraha again started by Gandhiji in 1930 with the objective to resist British colonial rule through non violent means. Salt Satyagraha, Salt. Uh, Satyagraha Salt March, which uh, 1930 mein hua tha, is a symbol act of defense against the British salt tax. So, again, salt ke upar bhi we were supposed to give taxes and all, right? Where Gandhi and his followers marched 240 miles to make salt. So, again, yahan pe bhi there was refusal to pay taxes, boycott of British goods and service, non cooperation with the colonial laws and authorities. Now, let us see what Sol Satyagra was. So, Sol Satyagra is also known as Dandi March also. The British government imposed Sol, Sol tax in India, making it illegal for the Indians to produce their own salt. So, again this is also something, because salt is something which we always use in our food. Dal banate salt, we use anything, kuch bhi banane, use salt and in India it was considered illegal for the Indians to produce their own salt. The tax was seen as particularly unjust as salt is the basic necessity. Gandhi sought to challenge the salt tax as a part of larger campaign of civil disobedience. He believed the breaking the salt law would unify Indians against British operations. Now, march to Dandi. So, it's may we can see that Gandhi and 78 followers set out from uh, Sabarmati Ashram in Ahmedabad to the coastal area of Dandi. So, he traveled around 386 kilometer from the Sabarmati Ashram which was in Ahmedabad till Dandi. This is Dandi March. So, around 386 kilometers. The march was a symbol act of defense against the British law. So, over 24 days, Gandhi and his followers walked through villages gaining support and drawing attention for the cause. So, again this were also important because over the 24 uh, days, they met various people and they also encouraged them to take part in the um, protest and all. Uh, the march uh, received uh, extensive uh, coverage in both India and international media, amplifying the message of resistance against the colonial rule. Uh, April uh, 6, 1930, Gandhi reached the Dandi and made salt by evaporating the sea water. So, he uh, se sea water banaya. sea water se salt banaya tha by breaking the salt law. The act of civil disobedience was a powerful symbol of resistance. The salt march inspired numerous acts of defense across India, with thousands of Indians producing salt illegally and protesting against the salt tax. So, the British authorities response with repression, arresting thousands of participants, including Gandhi himself, was also uh, arrested at that time. There was harsh treatment of peaceful protesters. Now, again, this were all the highlighted, uh, this uh, highlighting the struggle of the Indian in independence. So, it, ha it got in global attention at that time. The salt march became a symbol of non-violent resistance and galvanized widespread support for the independent movement. The event marked a significant increase in nationalistic favor and led to the greater participation from various sections of society in the struggle of independence. Uh, the British authorities responded with repression, arresting thousands of participating, including Gandhi on May 5, 1930. And um, Dharasana Satyagra was also carried out peacefully under Saroshni Naidu's leadership. So, again, by the uh, it is against against this uh, salt uh, text against salt text. It happened in conclusion of the salt text. This is salt text Satyagra khata mone wala tha. Tab ye start hua tha Dharasana Satyagra. Again, uh, in, in Gujarat uh, because dan, uh, this one Dharasana is adjacent to the. Dandi area, right? So, this is Dharasana Satyagra bola gaya. And then Lord Irwin and Gandhi negotiated a settlement in the Gandhi Irwin Pact, uh, which happened in 1931. So, this Satyagra was in 1930, in the 1930 only, and this pact, Gandhi Irwin Pact, was in 1931 uh, before the second round uh, table conference. Uh, so, here they demand that nine. 
जो पॉलिटिकल प्रिजनर्स थे उनको रिलीज़ किया गया था एंड एंड द बैन ऑन द कांग्रेस वाज आल्सो लिफ्टेड एट दैट टाइम गांधी जी सस्पेंडेड द सिविल डिसोबीडियन मूवमेंट एंड एग्री टू टेक पार्ट इन द सेकेंड राउंड कॉन्फ्रेंस एंड वॉज अगेन आफ्टर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन द सेकेंड राउंड कॉन्फ्रेंस ही वॉज डिसअपॉइंटेड एंड रिज्यूम द मोमेंट ही वॉज लेटर ऑन अगेन अरेस्टेड एंड कैप्ट इन वारादा प्रिजन सो वारादा प्रिजन इज इन पुणे इट इज़ इन पुणे एंड इट इज वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट जेल इन साउथ एशिया and built by britishers obviously now moving to the individual so individual as the term said suggests we are talking about individual people right individual person on uh, 17th october 1940 gandhi officially inaugurated the individual satyagraha so you know isme vinoba vinoba ji and then this we have jawaharlal nehru were the first and the second satyagrahi so they, they were the vino, uh, vinoba and jawaharlal nehru were the first and the second satyagrahis at that time the objective was to demonstrate india peacefully opposition to war through individual act of civil disobedience rather than mass movement so again yahan pe we were talking about individual individual person rather than the mass movement so satyagraha gave speeches satyagraha is gave speeches just jawaharlal nehru has speeches and statement against the war and british rule followed by their arrest again the movement aimed to um, first one to have right to free speech and then also to show that india were not supportive of the war at that time uh, in 1941 over 20000 satyagrahis were being arrested although limited in scope individual satyagraha laid the groundwork for the quit india movement in 1947 so this was again one of the important satyagrahis satyagra now moving to the last part that is quit india movement in 1947 before the independence in 1947 so kya hua tha in quit india movement the quit india movement was gandhi's last attempt at satyagra and uh, uh, it was triggered by british un okay so it was triggered by british unilateral declaration of war so uh, britain declared the war on germany at that time and uh, which included india without consulting the governor general so that was the pro- major problem that um, that britain declared the war on germany without the consultation of the government at that time and uh, this led to the conflict and imposition or even of the martial law so yahan se the movement jo hua tha it arose uh, the movement uh, sorry the movement arose from indian leader outrage it begin to run into conflict and the imposition of the martial law and in 1942 the congress working committee passed the quit india resolution so in 1942 quit india resolution passed kiya gaya tha at uh, at gowali tank median in mumbai uh, the movement which took place against the backdrop of the world war 2 was initially planned by gandhi and his followers and gandhi also gave the famous speech do or die urging the indian people to take part in the satyagraha movements uh, the call to act led to a widespread protests strikes and demonstrations across india people from various backgrounds participated the british quickly moved to surpass the movement a major crackdown occurred with thousand arrested including the prominent leaders like nehru ji abdul kalam azad vallabhai patel those people were also arrested leading to a leaderless movement the british utilized military force to quell protests leading to a violent clash in some areas and despite the arrest and violence uh, suppression the movement so act of sabotage against the british institution including railways and telecommunication now the last part so local leaders and group continued the struggle adapting the absence of the top leaders all the top leaders ko unhone jail mein dal diya tha but then there were local leaders who were leading them the the movement galvanized the masses fostering a sense of national identity and unity across the diverse community so again in in this case women also started participating in the protest Uh, congress politician uh, worsening the condition in india including food shortages and mili- military threats mm, now gandhi urged the british to leave india declaring its m- in the magazine region so again this is magazine uh, and if they could not do so peacefully they would leave it to anarchy 
and this is it for today thank you so much for watching uh, do like share and subscribe